Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, and Yozori. A view from the stage of the first fishing seminar of the week here at the Atlantic City Boat Show. A few early arrivals to join me here in a talk on striped bass. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine here at the Atlantic City Convention Center for the Atlantic City Boat Show. Going on all the way through Sunday. These seats will be filled through this weekend, especially on Saturday. You know that. Standing room only. Found a couple of cool things in the first couple of days of the Atlantic City Boat Show. But first, let's talk about the top story. And that's striped bass. Of course, striped bass back bay season opens in New Jersey Friday, March 1st. Blood worms and clams in those bays, creeks, rivers, and local estuaries. Always a big thing. Always a big kickoff to the spring season. Sod banks with southern exposure, especially, think about it, southern exposure, you get more of the sun in the sky. Low tide, that sun warms the mud, and on the incoming tide, that warm mud then heats up the water. A lot better action. Think Mullica, Tuckahoe, DOD Beach along the Delaware, maybe even Fortescue Beach, and of course, Graveling Point. I expect some good action too on the Toms River. Who knows, maybe even Oyster Creek without that nuclear water might be worth a shot this week. Bloods for perch have led to a lot of nuisance stripers. Yeah, everybody catching white perch, places like the Toms River, talking about a lot of striped bass they've had to release so far before the season, March 1st. It's all a go. Could be a good spring too, from what I hear, because many of those stripers have been holding over in our waters because it really hasn't been that mild of a winter, or it hasn't been that cold of a winter, it's been mild. So you would expect some of those holdovers to get hungry. Outside of striped bass, of course, Toggin in New Jersey comes to an end on February 28th. We go into a, a little bit of a, a pause until April 1st. Of course, if you're down in Delaware looking to get out, Delaware's Toggin continues. Most of our boats in Jersey, though, the party boats that are still sailing, focused on Ling and Cod. Of course, winter flounder, too, for you guys in Central and North Jersey. That reopens on Friday as well. If you're looking to stick a flatty somewhere on the Shark River, maybe along the Navisink, Barnegat Bay someplace, the Manasquan, you've got that opportunity. Again, bloodworms, they're hard to come by, but all the shops are reopening as of March 1st. A lot of them are, and they're looking for those jumbo bloodworms for all of that action. Now, if you're out west, if you're looking for some action on the freshwater, let's check in with the Poconos and George, the Pocono Outdoors guy. Hey Jim, the winds on the lake are a bit brutal, so I ducked in here at our local Dunkerberger Sporting Goods, and I think I'm going to stock up while I'm here. But as for the ice, the northern tier is doing really good. The guys are still out catching fish. As a matter of fact, here's Brian Knowles with a mess of panfish he's got ready for the fryer. Down here, down south, the ice isn't as good. Shorelines are starting to melt, so if you're brave enough to wade out and get on top of that ice, you've still got about six inches left to fish on. But it's only a week or so away, and I think we'll be trading in your tip-ups for some open water gear. What do you think, Jim? Let's get out and catch some stripers. From Pennsylvania, I'm George, your Pocono Outdoors guy. Stripers indeed, George. That is what it's all about here at the Jersey Shore as of March 1st. And I'll tell you what, one of the things we found out this week talking to a couple of people is some bunker have arrived as well. It's right on time, actually. Uh, a Long Island Beach, Russ Bin tells me one of his surf casting buddies was just driving the beach, found a bunker washed up. Dave at Absecon Bay Sportsman Center, he said he found some in his search for bunker. So that's a good sign. We're just about there. Now, of course, we have a full seminar lineup here in Atlantic City. It's presented by the folks at the Recreational Fishing Alliance and also the Fisherman Magazine. But of course, you're here to see the boats. And I found a couple of good ones walking around here on Wednesday. Waterfront Marine. That's the new Roballo R246 Cayman. Real sharp looking bay boat over there at Waterfront Marine. You stop in at Marine Max, you'll see the new Sailfish 360 center console. My friend Pat over there said this thing is a beast, sure and steady, in even the sportiest of conditions. You stop by and see the folks at South Jersey Yacht Sales. They are now the exclusive dealer of Invincible. And they've got the new 37 Catamaran from Invincible, nice looking boat. They also have the Viking 34. It's always good to come down here to Atlantic City and see the Vikings in here again. Next door to the Vikings, of course, you'll see Valhalla Boat Works. They've got some big news, Valhalla Boat Works. It's in the March edition, but Valhalla Yacht Sales has the Skeeter line. These things are looking good 
outfitted with a brand new Minn Kota for that skinny water striped bass and fluke action in South Central Jersey. If you're looking for something bigger, check out the Fountain 39NX with triple 350 Verados. This thing is a monster center console. Here's another center console, a little bit beamier, even though it's short. The Cape Horn 22 Offshore at Seaport Inlet Marina. Nine foot beam. Get a lot of guys on the uh, transom there doing a little bit of chunking. 300 horsepower and less than 70K. If you're looking for a well-priced boat, you might want to look at the Bayliners. I'm telling you, Bayliners got a fishing boat. Over at Harbor Yacht Club and Marina, the new Bayliner Element 21. New fishing boat from Bayliner. It was just rated the best deal in fishing for just 31 k And of course, our dream boat is here. Yes, the 23 DV Miami. It's over at DNR Boat World. Comes with that Fisherman logo because you could win it by being a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine. I've got all the details here at our booth. You've got tackle and gear all over the place. Canyon Runner spreader bars, accurate reels. Canyon Reels is here. Make sure you check out the Salt 4000. Order online for a special deal. Check with me over at our booth and I'll let you know how you can do that. We've got two booths here at the show. We're at 147 right next to Tackle Direct where they've got quantum spinning reels on sale this week for less than 20 bucks. We're also at booth 826. It's right here near the seminar area. We're close to our friends from Unsinkable Polarized, next to the Recreational Fishing Alliance, and also around the corner from the kayak demonstrations with Finatics. They've got an on-water demonstration. Bob Neuweiler will be here this week on the kayak. Also, Tom, Michael, and others. Now, if you're way up in North Jersey, or you're in New York City, or Staten Island, and you don't think you're heading down to this show on Sunday, I've got a good idea for you. The Staten Island Tuna Club has an inshore, offshore expo, Sunday, March 3rd, from 8 until 2. That's at 6581 Highland Boulevard. A lot of speakers there. Chris tells me they've got TOG, stripers, cast netting demonstrations all lined up there at the Staten Island Tuna Club's inshore, offshore expo. Now, I do hope to see you here in Atlantic City this week. Stop by, say hello. I'll be at one of the booths or I'll be here near the seminar area. And next week, yes, March 1st, we kick off Strike Bass in New Jersey. Spring has arrived and next Thursday's report, I expect to have the first reports of striped bass landed here in the state of New Jersey. So check us out again next week right here at thefisherman.com.